this fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensbury <laughs> rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. All right, here's the heavyweight contender, Francis Ngannou, DC. Prevailing wisdom is that eventually he's going to find his way back into a UFC title fight. Had the first fight against Stipe that didn't go his way. This is as big a power threat as this division really has ever seen. You don't lose. You get an opportunity to learn. Right. And Francis Ngannou learned from the fight with Stipe Miocic at UFC 220. And it was evident when he made his way back to the octagon. Curtis Blades was a guy that could employ the same type of strategy as Stipe Miocic did but Francis disposed of him in the first round. Cain Velasquez was another guy that could employ that strategy. Francis disposed of him in 28 seconds. He's only getting better because he has not been fighting for very long. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Ngannou is three years his senior. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Iceman. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France. Francis, the Predator and God. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. So we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's gonna Whoa! Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Back to his feet. Great punch. Oh. So much power. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Frost. All right, so Francis Ngannou pretty patient here early on and leaning on his jet. When you look at a guy like oh, him, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying active. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. 26 total strikes. Of oh, and just like that, the fight is over. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight.
Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 21 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Francis the Predator Engano. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout.